Welcome back. Now it's important to understand the limitations of ChatGPT, especially what the company says are its limitations. The most important element is going to be the very first limitation, and you're going to see this here as of the recording of this video. You'll notice that it says that ChatGPT writes plausible sounding but incorrect and nonsensical answers. And that for what ChatGPT does, this is not something that the model itself will be able to fix. And so you'll need to be aware of that when you use information that you get from the actual chatbot. In the second area, it says that in some cases you can restate a question and get different answers from the chatbot. So if you don't like the response you're getting, it's a good idea to restate the input that you're putting in in order to get the output from the chatbot. The third bullet point it openly states that the open chatbot can use more words than it should and in some cases will overuse certain phrases. So this is something that you are going to want to be aware of. Another very important element to the information that you're getting back from the chatbot is the fact that ideally you would want the chatbot to ask you clarifying questions. However, what the model does is it assumes what you intended. So again, that's very important for you to understand when you're getting the information from the chatbot. And lastly, the chatbot will do what it can to refuse what it views to be inappropriate requests to the model. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hey, this is uh, Chapel North. Thanks again for watching the video. If you'd like to get more videos like this, click the link below this video, and we'll have some more videos for you that you can watch that will teach you how to use uh, ChatGPT for beginners. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.